Riding a naked bike brings out my inner hooligan. After all, that's kind of their purpose, since they don't really have much of a purpose, with no windscreen, no fairing, no luggage, just as pure as can be. Of course, it would help if I wasn't so bad at being a hooligan. But nevertheless, I still have an uncontrollable urge to tell everyone why I ride a naked bike and say things like It's really not surprising that naked bikes are taking over the world when you consider how much fun you can have without your clothes on. Sorry mom, but what did you expect? Of course there had to be a nudity joke in this video. Or how about the staple? Torque is way more fun than horsepower. You can actually use this on the street. <laughs> I know you've heard this one before, and it does have some credibility. You can't deny that neck snapping launches are something special. But at the same time, I have to admit, I was never bored banging up through the gears on my R1 while watching the numbers on the dash soar into triple digits. And not once did I ever wish it had more torque. It's nothing but wheel spin or wheelies on a naked bike. There's just no in between. Right now, somewhere in Spain, Marquez is shaking his head while he's piloting his 300 horsepower Honda down a straight that's wheeling and getting wheel spin all at the same time. Please, the wind doesn't even bother me. I have to use this one when riding with my mate that has the windscreen from a BMW 3 Series. It's not a complete lie. The wind really doesn't bother me, but only because I love my bike. But I will admit my neck does take a pounding after 40 minutes at, let's say, spirited motorcycle highway speeds. I would kill myself on a superbike. I could never have one. No, wait, that's the annoying guy at the petrol station. You know, the one that always comes over to tell you about that time he rode a Jixxer 750. I sometimes get them mixed up. I love the aggressive look naked bikes always have. Yup, pretty sexy. But tell me, how many miles do you get with that style over function fuel tank again? About um, about a hundred. Sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Shut up. We all have to stick to the same speed limits anyway. So why not get to those speed limits as fast as possible? Legally, I can't argue with that one. Plus, I think that's actually a pretty good loophole. <laughs> It is not a naked bike. Please, that is classless. It's a street fighter. They can get it right in Italy. Spoken by a man with true Italian heritage, as you can tell by his tall, dark and handsome appearance. So how could we argue with that logic? I don't know my quarter mile time. I've never had this at the drag strip. It wouldn't be fair on the superbikes. Just because you might beat a superbike for 300 out of the 400 meters in a drag race doesn't mean you win. This isn't politics. The majority doesn't win, it's first across the line. Rider aids are for MotoGP riders. Strap an engine between two wheels and I'll be happy. Except that naked bikes aren't as pure as they originally were. Even this MT-09 has ABS and traction control and a new MT-10 gets worse with a 6-axis IMU. That's about 3 axes more than I thought a bike had. It's just a big supermoto. And everybody loves a supermoto. Some nakeds definitely feel like that. But I have to say, I do lack some confidence on the off-road sections. And often notice the additional 80 kilos. But have I told you about that extra torque? If I wanted more top speed, I'd just go down a tooth on the rear sprocket. I choose to have acceleration over top speed. I have the perfect rear sprocket for you to keep up with a superbike then. If gearing really is as simple as you make it sound, of course. Fewer fairings means less to repair if I ever dropped it. Logic. Should I tell him how far that clutch cover sticks out? I'm sure you'll figure it out. Can't cost more than a fairing, right? There is no better type of bike for city riding. In terms of convenience, affordability, fuel efficiency, absolutely not. But in terms of fun, 1000% yes. But at the end of the day, there's one quote we can all agree on. Well, probably not, but I'll say it anyway. It's not what you ride, but that you ride. You can have incredible days out on a naked bike, a 400, a superbike, 
that S1000 with a 3 series windscreen and even a dirt bike. But anyway, share any more things you've heard naked bike riders say down in the comments and send this video to a mate that has said one of these before. And I'll see you on the next ride.